Welcome to Mike's Second Toys. Well, welcome to Mike. Welcome to Mike's Second Toys. Welcome to Welcome to Mike's Second Toys. Okay, so this one is the UX581G. Have a look at the spec. Oh, lovely packaging. Let's just put that there. Oh, this must be all your accessories and the power brick and everything. Lovely, loving the way this has all been packaged. Now, although I'm not an Apple person, okay, um, you really have to thank Apple for how all these other companies are now stepping up their game in presentation. When you open the box, a bit like when you open the screen of the laptop, when you open the box, it raises the laptop up. Oh, 10 out of 10 for that one. <laughs> it's one of those boxes you don't really want to throw away. Before I get the laptop out, it's got a beautiful blue color to it, which I'm, I'm happy. When I saw that it was blue, I thought, I don't want a blue laptop, but it's a nice modern, very subtle blue, almost gray, almost gunmetal. Ah, nice. So right there, we have a pen, nice for the laptop, it's all touch screen and you can use this on both screens on the laptop. Uh, and we should have a, a hand rest or something like that, yeah, here we go. To make it a lot easier if you're gonna be using this on a desk. This is absolutely gorgeous and like I said it's not a horrible standard blue very metallic looking it's all metal this is gorgeous a bit thicker than I expected but still a very sleek machine considering what this packs I mean this really is a powerhouse and the fact that it's got two screens 4k on both come on let's have a quick look on the base nice okay I'm gonna charge it up. I'll be right back. So watch what happens around here when I open up this laptop. Nice. Okay, so the laptop has been charged. Quick disclaimer, I've played around with it for an hour or so, getting myself familiar with it, and I've put one or two applications on there just to demonstrate some of the cool features that it has. So let's just uh, turn it on. So as you can appreciate, this is not the first time I'm turning it on. There you go, look at that stunning 15.6 inches of 4K gorgeousness. So I'm just gonna put my password in, bear with me. Oh, look at that, I absolutely love that. So yeah, that is the biggest selling point for this laptop. And today's quick unboxing and overview is just to show you why for me personally, having that second screen down there isn't just a gimmick. It actually has its purpose. Apart from it looking awesome and futuristic, I just think it's so user-friendly and very, very useful. For me anyway, and hopefully it may persuade you also. So, with this screen down here, 
That too is also 4K, so they've not skimped on it. So it's a different type of display though. Whereas this one here is more of a slightly glossy look. This one's more of a matte look. Now, remember you do get a pen with it. So using your pen down here, if you're an artist and watching what you're doing down there appear on here is just one of many applications and usefulness in having two screens. But watch why I feel this is absolutely awesome for me. So down there, as you can see, is a little console where you can put shortcuts and all sorts. However, what this console enables you to do is to pre-program your favorite applications to open in exactly the way you would like to work. I'll demonstrate. So I have brought up that little sort of sub menu right there. And if you can notice, there's a number one and a number two. Now, what I have done is I have launched my favorite applications and other sub stuff that I wanted to be up on the screen. Stick with me, you'll understand what I'm talking about in a moment. And I've bundled all of that into one of these presets. Now, I've only got two presets on there at the moment. Let me just give you an example. So if I press one, watch what happens. There, look, how awesome is that? I have now got three browsers opened at the same time. Now you're thinking, why? Well, I'm sure you can think of many reasons why that would be useful. But for me as a YouTube creator, check this out. Look, that is absolutely perfect for me. So as a YouTube creator, I can watch back a video I have just uploaded onto YouTube. I can also monitor the comments as they're coming in live down here because on that particular browser, I've got an auto refresh going. So every few seconds, it will auto refresh and I will be able to see new comments as they arrive. And then over here, I can keep an eye on my other social media connected to my YouTube channel. So as a YouTube creator, that alone makes this laptop worth it for me. But hey, it doesn't stop there. Oh, by the way, I have more than one YouTube channel. So it is really handy, especially if you're on the go. Using it for that sort of purpose, you can see where even if you're not a YouTube creator, you could be watching your favorite TV program, your favorite movie or YouTube video and still be messing around on social media, surfing the web and blah, blah, blah. Because at the end of the day, this screen is big enough so that one screen there alone is bigger than a smartphone. So there's no issues in whether you can actually see things clearly or big enough on there. And it's probably the size of say a pocket size or slightly bigger pocket size tablet, just that section right there. But like I said, it doesn't stop there. Check out what else I have pre-programmed into one of these slots. It's my favorite photo editing software. So instead of having to upload, or should I say launch the software application on its own, and then having to move away from that screen to find the folders and photos that you wanna use with it, look at that. I can literally bring up all of my photos that I want to use today for editing. I literally just have to tap on one of them and it will automatically load up into my photo editing software. How awesome is that? To have all of your photos just sitting there uh, waiting for you to upload into that screen there or into your editing software. Again, that's just another very handy application if you're into photo editing, whether it be for pleasure or for professional reasons. And again, because this is such a beautifully wide secondary screen right here, you don't have to have that file explorer right there open in such a wide angle. You could actually reduce that down to half and then launch a web browser here so you can keep an eye on your social media or do whatever you normally do on the internet. Come on. How handy is that? And don't get me started if you're a budding musician. Check this out. Ha! Come on! Again, you could be tinkling away on the piano and still be browsing on your main screen or indeed have whatever music editing or music composing software up on the main screen 
while having your instruments down there. Come on. Awesome. The possibilities are endless having this beautiful panoramic screen down there as well as your main screen. And I'm also hoping that you have noticed that the whole keyboard lights up too so you can work in dark conditions, which is beautiful. Now, if you're getting a slight flickering on your screen as you're watching this, trust me, I'm not seeing that here. Everything is beautifully perfect. It's just how the camera lens picks up this and you know, all that technical stuff. <laughs> Now there's another cool feature I would like to show you and it's this laptop's touchpad. Now to many, they'll have to get used to it being on the right hand side and so far down on this device. Others will just take to it like duck to water, like I have. I know you're used to that being somewhere in the center below your keyboard, but here it's right here and I have no issues with it whatsoever. However, this is not just any old touchpad. Check this out. If you're missing your numerical buttons all in one square section that you would normally get on a keyboard, it's here too. Look, you just tap on that right there and would you look at that? It now turns into your numerical section of your keyboard, of course, as well as your normal numbers up here. What a fantastic feature. And if you don't need it, you can turn it off. Awesome. This truly is a stunning laptop. But what about connectivity? Well, naturally it has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, but it also has an HDMI 2.0 socket, one combo headphone microphone socket, two USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type A sockets, one USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type C Thunderbolt 3 socket, and of course, for your audio pleasure, this laptop has two speakers and the sound is handled by Harman Kardon. Make sure to check the video description for the full specification of this laptop. It really does pack some power apart from that beautiful dual screen display. On its own, even without that dual screen, this is a powerful laptop. And do remember, if this is a bit too pricey for you, there's a cheaper version of this, more details in the video description. And if you think you'd like your laptop to have just a bit more power than this one has, then there's an even higher spec version. All details are in the video description. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time on the Mike's Tech and Toys Plus Movie Memorabilia YouTube channel.